Here's a Blender bonus tip. How to align objects in 3D space. As you can see, we've got a whole lot of objects that are all scattered about. In order to line them up, we just select everything. Go to Object, Transform, Align Objects. You'll then get a dialog box that looks something like this. It might be folded in, just expand it. And then you can select if you want to align in the X, Y or Z axes. If you want to align in more than one axis, just hold down shift and select more than one axis. So we're going to align it in the X and the Z axis. Now there's different alignment modes. Generally, you'll just go with center. The other two, in my opinion, aren't all that useful. But relative to is what you're going to play with most of the time. Active will align it to the active object. So as you can see, the monkey head is the one that was selected. So everything aligned to the monkey head. We can change it to the scene's origin or the 3D cursor, which, by the way, if you go up to view and adjust the position and then just select 3D cursor again, it will align it to the new location. You can also line it up to the selection, which will take the average location of all the objects and align it. But I think we will just stick to the scene origin. Now, with most other programs like Illustrator or Photoshop, you can align things, but you can also distribute objects evenly, like this. You can do this inside of Blender, but you're going to have to activate an add-on. We go up to Edit, Preferences, head over to Add-ons, type in OSC. You'll come across an add-on called Obscure Art Tools. Just activate it. So now with all your objects selected, just right-click and you've got your Obscure Art Tools menu over here. You then go down to Distribute Objects, and then you pick which axes you want to distribute along. So we're going to distribute along the Y axis and press OK. As you can see, everything got all squished up. That is because of the order we selected the objects in. So now, depending what order you select your objects in, it will align those objects in that order but it will also space it out between the first and the last objects that you select. So as an example, distribute. See, perfect. But if we were to select everything in a different order, right click, distribute, we get a totally different layout. So when doing that, just keep that in mind. So there's one other way to align objects, and that's by using scale. Now normally, when you scale inwards, it will scale all the objects smaller and towards the center. But if we go over to the Tool tab over here, we can go down to where it says Transform and it says Effect Only and click on Location. So now, when we try to scale, it will affect only the location of the objects. So what we can do with all our objects selected is press S and then press X and we'll scale inwards and then we'll press zero on our keyboard and everything will be aligned to the X axis. Now we'll press S again and then press Z and type in zero and everything will be aligned to the Z axis. And we can do what we did before, where we select all of our objects in the order that we want them. Right click, Obscure Art Tools, and Distribute. Turn off the X and the Z, and Distribute along the Y. So there's one other way to align objects in 3D space. It's not very practical, but it might be useful for future projects. So what we do is we select our first object, go down to the Objects Constraints tab, and then click on Add Object Constraint, and click on copy location. We'll then select the object that we want everything to align to. And then we'll just click off the Y so it's only the X and the Z axes that it's aligning to. And then we'll select all our other objects and do the exact same thing. Sadly, you have to do it one at a time. So this comes with a few advantages. One, you can't make it not align. It will always be aligned. Even when you move the object, the other objects will follow. You can then easily just adjust their spacing manually. 
quite easily as well as you can animate the influence that the objects have so as an example I can animate the influence on each and every single one of these and I will be able to have everything go from unaligned to aligned with very little effort. Anyway, if you found this useful, please consider donating to my Patreon or sending me some crypto. And while you're down there, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell and maybe leaving a like. Thank you very much. Stay creative, everyone. Catch you in the next video. From this distant vantage point, the Earth might not seem of any particular interest. But for us, it's different. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization. Every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, every saint and sinner in the history of our species.